in yesterday's session we will discuss some of the what was that system functions yep. Yeah. Yeah. Now, what did we cover? Till let's see, till that to aggregate. Yeah. Configuration, mathematical metadata. Yeah, these functions we covered. And metadata functions inside this metadata functions, yes, object head and object name, call and call and all these things are covered. So let's come to other Yeah, call and yeah, yeah. yeah. Other functions. Okay. Train count we will use. Session user it's not required. User name no ID we will use. Usenal. It's numeric identity, identity seed, identity current. So inside this, right, if you see, there is a, a cached function. So if you remember, we have discussed already cached and convert. There will be convert also. Yeah, yeah. cached, convert. Yeah. Cached and convert. These two functions will be a part of the your. Uh, what is that other metadata functions and this ident current ident increment and ident seed this we will we will uh, discuss when we are going with the identity column property okay and if you see is null so okay. if you want to check whether the column is having any null value okay so select let us say let us create is null test create table ebl is null test <coughs> okay so is null test a integer b character of 10 i am giving so let us say yep now insert ebl null test select One comma null select two comma select two comma two. What I have done here is I did insertion of four records into TBL regional test. Okay. So so if you see there is a null value. When you say null, right? Nothing is stored inside that particular column. Okay. That is the meaning of null. And if you insert a value called null, then this is a value as which is similar to a. Okay. But if you insert a null like this, if you insert a value like this, then you are inserting a value into that particular column <coughs> and the inserted value is null means like nothing that column doesn't have any data for this particular a when i say a this is the a column and that b column doesn't have any data means like it has nothing so this is the one of the uh, what is that uh, uh, null uses so now what we are going to test is is null functionality so select a comma is null of okay b 
if the column corresponding column is having null value then what is that which value has to be replaced just re give the replace value saying that uh, replace value okay. yes b if you see now it's good c if you see there is a uh, what is that a value coming here replace value and replace value So now if you see now if, if you see when I insert when I am replacing a value with a replace value you could see here there is a cutting happen because if you see my where care column is length of 10 correct if you see here 1 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. These many characters only will be displayed when you replace. Okay. So, let us say. Okay. If you want to replace any null value column with a particular uh, expression or a particular uh, static value. Okay. Then you can go with the is null. Okay. And this is the is null functionality and <coughs> is numeric. Let us say where you will check whether it is having a is numeric or not. So if you want to check whether the whether a particular column inside a table is having a numeric data type or not then just to go ahead with is a numeric of a from tbl is null of is null test so go like this then it would return one 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 okay if it is non numeric value then it would throw an error okay so let me insert a record into this particular table mm. I will show you select null comma x y z okay. select I am selecting a comma b comma is null of value as yes. sorry is a numeric is numeric expression so if you see one two three four five shit wait correct if you see here this is a numeric value, this is a numeric value, this is a numeric value and this is a numeric value. But when you see here, this is a null. Means like the value for this particular column at this row is nothing. So this doesn't have any data. That's why it is written in 0. And let us include that is null also here. If you see here, this is a null value. Wait a minute. Let me. Yep. See, let us go for easy numeric expression. In this particular table, PBL is null test. So, 1 is numeric, 2 is numeric, 3 is numeric, 4 is numeric, null means nothing. So, when you insert, when you are checking for this particular column, whether it has a numeric data type, what is that numeric data or not, then go and check like this with the, with the help of each numeric function. 
is numeric function. So just I have mentioned A inside this particular column. So one. This is a numeric data what data. So that's why it is giving one 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 one. So now if you come here, this is having null means like which means nothing. This column for this row particularly it is having nothing value. When I say nothing, it has null. So now for this, uh, if you apply each numeric expression, the value for that particular column is null. That's why it is giving zero. And if you come to the is null expression. Now B is the character column and I am uh, I have a null value. Means like this column doesn't have, this row doesn't have any data and this row doesn't have any data and remaining rows are having data. So what I am telling to the system is whenever you find a nothing or a null value inside this particular column for the particular row data just to replace with my static content. So that's why is null what it is doing it is replacing with my static content. So if you see A is a value so inside this B column for this particular row there is a value called A. That's why it is giving A and but when you come here this column and at this row level this is having null value. When I say null value it is having nothing. So that's why it is giving it is replacing with our default static value nothing okay it means like test and new id where you will create this new id okay where you would be using this new id select new id so whenever whenever you want uh, what was that? <coughs> uh, distinguish between all the values. When I say all the values are all the columns, you know, means like all the values in the particular table. When I say in the row level, okay. So you would be going with the new ID. When I say new ID, new ID will will give you a unique identifier. If you remember the data type when we were discussing in the data types class, there is a data type called a unique identifier. So new ID will be giving you a unique identifier and it would be in the var binary format. This is a var binary format, okay, which is unique across all the tables inside that particular database, okay. When you create new ID again, if you want uniqueness value accord, what is that across the tables, right? So you could go with the new ID. If you see new ID, it is like a, a random number which is generated by the system. Okay. If you see 78D, right? And B1C, right? And let us execute. Now 8024 and D7F. These are like random generated var binary formatted numbers which would be unique across the across the tables inside the particular database okay if you want to generate a unique number across all the tables <coughs> inside a particular table you could go with the new id uh, property okay where you will use this new id okay when it's, you, it's a row level function uh, yeah Good. yep yes what Yes. Uh, okay, it's a row level function. Yes, it's a it's a row level. Hello. Yeah, or it's a row okay. level. Okay. So every time we execute. Yeah. Yeah. Every time we execute it, and uh, it generates uh, some different number. Correct. See if you see here, right? If you see here, okay. the values are. See, yeah. It is changing. Okay. But these values are static. When I say static, these are particular to the <coughs> table. But if you see here as new ID, let me give you an alias. So this is the value and is number of new ID and LF is not required. Row count, this row count you will be using 
uh, inside a transactions or uh, whenever you want to find how many rows got affected then you could go with this row count so let us say um, wait. let me insert the rows again Govin, yep. can you ask you a question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, how do you, yeah, how do you, uh, you were selecting like uh, from insert to select. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you were, you were re removing the comments. Uh, how you do that? When I said remove, okay, this yeah, one. Yeah, removing comments. This one? Yeah, yeah. Okay, there is yeah, a yeah. shortcut called how control do you KC and control KU, okay. When you type control, control KC. KC, yeah, control KC means put a comments and control KU means remove comments. Okay, that is the shortcut. Okay. KU, K means K alphabetical letter. K yeah, 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 yeah. You could see here, okay. Let okay. us say. Yeah. Uh, it is like, okay, let me. Control K plus U. Which means uncomment. Okay, U means uncomment. And the similar thing. If you press C here. Comment. C means comment. U means uncomment. Okay. Okay, thank you. Not a problem. Okay. Select store from this table. How many rows got inserted? Okay, cool. <coughs> now what I am doing is if I want to capture how many rows got inserted inside my particular table. Okay, when I execute this SQL statement, if you see one, two, three, four. Four rows got inserted and this is a system defined function which would be giving the last after the last insert statement right how many rows got inserted into your particular table those many rows it will those that count of rows it will return okay this is the what is that the usage of the other right other right row count and this function you will be using in the audit section only. When I say audit section, if you want to track, means like when you perform any transformation, when I say any transformation, when you are inserting a data into particular table, so if you want to track how many rows got inserted into that particular table at the transaction level, just insert, select at the right, at the right row count, then you will find these many rows got updated or these many rows got inserted like that okay so this is the usage of your uh, row count and scope identity i will tell you at the identity class row count big i think you is, yeah i think new id is also used in uh, audit uh, some some kind of audit function right which one new id yeah new id no new id is not used for the audit function New ID is used for if you want to create a uniqueness across all the uh, table, tables and across all the columns. Okay, let us say A is the user, he is inside a particular table uh, X. Okay, and if you want to create a unique identifier for that guy, A, and you could use New ID. And if you are going and using uh, in the another uh, table, same A. And there is another new ID will be created for that guy. If you are using new ID function over there also. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. For uniqueness. Yeah, okay. uniqueness. And uh, server property, all this is not required. Session user, system user. Tran count, this will be used inside your transactions. Once we go with the transactions, right, I will show you. 
how many transactions got updated and all those things yes username yep this uh, these all are fine in other functions now hierarchy id functions get level to string yeah this is not required row set functions yeah open data source open query open row set and open xml okay forget about xml open data source open query and open row set where you would be using this what are the these three functions let us say you are having i can't show you in a what is that uh, programmatic way because i don't have any other server <coughs> i will i will explain you how to do how to use this open uh, data source okay when you are having a linked server when i say linked server there is a concept called you are having two servers okay and if you want to establish a connection between the, these two servers let us say one side of a river there is a mountain another side of a river there is another mountain if you want to what is that connect these two mountains over the river then what you will do you will definitely go with a rope bridge or a top level bridge correct that bridge is nothing but your linked server okay so there is a link between these two mount, uh, databases or these two servers has been established okay that property you will be using and <coughs> and if you want to collect the data from the other server inside a particular database then you would be going with open data source either open query and this open row set means open row set what you will do you don't have a connection between these two servers but your network will allow you to talk to that particular uh, server when i say server there is a server a and server b there are there is no connectivity between these two servers and if you want to get the data from server b to server a then how you will get means like there is no linked server and then how you will get if the network allows you to connect to these two databases or the, to these two servers then you can go with to which what are the to which server you want to connect and give that one and if you see here the data source user id and password to connect to that particular server okay you should provide user id and password and the provider name what is this provider name whether if you are going to connect to uh, oracle server then you should give the oracle driver information what are oledb or uh, whatever driver you are using and if you are connecting to the excel source then give that a jet driver or your what is that and the driver what else jet yeah you can go give go with the jet driver and there are some other drivers also i forget okay so you can uh, with the driver information you should provide and to connect that excel source if the excel source is password protected then you should give the password username and password to that particular uh, what is that inside inside this data source this one right parameter you should provide that username and password let us say you are connecting to the another sql source okay then what you will have to provide sql server what is that native oledb provider then the data source when i say data source to which db you are going to connect or which server you are going to connect and what is the user name and what is the password you are going to connect to that server and if you here if you come here catalog.schema.object or query so you will have to type the query like i want data from sql batch 2 inside sql batch 2 there is a tbl is null test okay if i want information like this then what you will have to do is select store from uh, wait a minute select db underscore name what you will have to provide is dbo dot tbl 
is not dashed. <coughs> this is the query you will have to give. So this is the query you will have to give. So this will return say row set. When I say row set, this is the row set. One second. Shit. Yep. This is called this result set is called row set. So you can insert into your table or you can what is that export into an Excel, whatever you want, you can do. Okay. These are the right these are the like if you want to connect to server to server, then these are the what is that uh, different ways of connect to server to server. Uh, different ways of connect to server to server functions. Yes. And apart from this, change table, change version, it's not required. Let's go to security functions. And if you see here, username also will be there here, right? If you see, there is a, yeah. This is like duplicate. Returns a different identification number. Okay. Okay, <coughs> let us say insert this right, this S user SID, S user S name and user ID and user name. What these four functions are, what is that? These are also nothing but your uh, audit functions. When I say audit functions, these are your select S user SID. Yes, user, yes, name. Yes, user, yes, name. User ID. Okay, this is cool. So, yes, user SID. This is SAN PCC. This is SID of this particular SAN ID. And this is your username. This is your username. And if you see user ID, where is this user ID? Yeah, user ID is one. It's like I am only the user. And what is that username? I am using the debugger context. This will be giving you like this and if you come here user and what would be this functionality no this you want to change the alter user properties okay forget about this <coughs> so if you see here right so yes user SID what it will return means if you see it returns the security identification number of the login name. When I say login name, for the SAN PC SAN, right, there will be a login, uh, uh, what is that name will be there. That number will be written over here. And if you see, in which user context, if I am executing this query, if you want to find, then SAN PC hyphen SAN. This is the user ID, con sorry, username context I am using. And what is the user ID? I am the only one user who is using this particular database. So for me, there is a user ID is one and username on which schema context I am executing. So I am executing in the DBO schema context. So let us say uh, select store from sys dot sys users. DB or DB or DB owner. Yep. This is the DB owner ID. Yes. So let me copy this. And let me execute this. Let me copy this number. And type it over here. And if you see, both the numbers are unique. Okay. So when you 
when you want to track the information of the particular user okay so just you can go with you can go with user id and user name sorry s user s id and s user s name so where you will find this s user s id means like on which database or the user context you are executing so let me go to the system defined view this is when i say sys dot then after sys dot whatever you are giving right that should be a view okay so that is system defined view so if you go here and if you see my uid is one for a dbo the system is allotted user id as one and my SID, if you see here, SID, and this is SID, and if you see here, S name, <coughs> S name is system name, sorry, username, this is the one, you could see, and this SID is nothing but your S user SID, and the user ID is nothing but your UID, and the username is nothing but your schema level name, okay, these are the, what is it? Uh, your audit functions whenever you want to use means like these all these audit functions will be used inside your stored procs when you load data into a particular table okay so do you guys have any doubts still here no yeah so we are good nice then let's go to these are your security functions now come to string functions okay what this string functions will do first of all ascii what this what is this ascii so if you want to get a what is that ASCII value of a particular column or a particular what is that alphabet then you can go with ASCII of let us say A okay and ASCII value of small a no, small a So if you see, <coughs> it is 65 and it is 97. So ASCII value will be giving, okay, when you apply an ASCII function on a particular, what is that, uh, alphabet, then it will be giving you an ASCII value of that particular alphabet. Okay, this is the usage of ASCII. And CAR, CAR, CAR you will be using as a, what is that? you will be using it as a data type and let us say if i am giving cat 10 okay so what cat 10 would be giving so if you see here it is a okay let me add a plus cat 10 so if you copy this value and paste it over here if you see here my cursor has come down okay after a it has come down means after a what it did internally means it has entered a new line okay this is the usage of cat 10 let us say let me include cat 30 okay so let me copy this a value and paste it over here so cat 10 and cat 13 combination if you use what it will do it will append a space then it will what is that uh, insert a new line into this particular table okay plus b let us insert like this So A space B, if you see A, then it has come to the new line and after that 
it has inserted a B value. Okay. So let us say if you want to insert a value when I say value into your particular table let us say you would be having address column inside your particular table okay create table tbl address one second guys So yeah, let us say there is a TBL uh, address table. We will be uh, having employee ID, integer, and address of the yeah one address of the employees. Where care of some where care max. When I say when I am giving max, it this column will be having where care value and the max value is 4000. So by default it would allot 4000 character space plus 2 byte space to this particular column. Okay. Now what I am doing is insert TBL address. Okay. Select employee ID 1. Then go in then care combination of your care 10 plus care 13 plus what else you want care 10 plus care 13 plus he lives in Hyderabad Hyderabad okay so now this is one thing so let us say Insert, select to Santosh, cat 10, cat 13. He lives in Bidar. Control C, Control V. 3, Kamal, Kamal, he lives in Vizag. So, what I am doing now is I am inserting values into this particular table. So if you if I query data from this particular table, what it would give? Select store from this table. So what I am doing is select store from this table. So if you see here, let me copy this result set and paste it over here. See when you see Govin, then line, then Hyderabad two Santos, then line, then Bader, three Kamal, then line, then Vizag. So let me insert one more uh, row. Row he lives in Bangalore. I have given like this. Okay. Let me. What is that? Select start from this table. If you see here. And let me copy the result set. Paste it. See. If you see here. I haven't provided any cat and cat 13 value for Prudvi. And if you see here. There is a. <coughs> there is no new line has been allotted for Prudvi and if you see for uh, the among uh, for the above rows and go in then the new line when I say new line the new line has started with blank then after new line there is a what is that value called Hyderabad and if you see Santos then a new line then he is living in Bidar and if you see Kamal after that uh, what is that there is a new line and that after that new line there is a column value called why is that? So if you want to insert a new line inside a particular column, then you should go with 
combination of CAT 10 plus CAT 13. Okay, this is the major usage of your CAT and you would be using this CAR as a data type. Okay, inside a particular table. Let us say alter table table address will be having add country C N T R Y Kara hundred so I am using this character as a data type over here but if you see here I am using character as a what is that special purpose when I say special purpose this I am using a new line operator I am providing to the particular column as a new line operator when I am using cat 13 and cat 10. So I am using here character as a data type. So this is the major usage of your care column, sorry, care system function. And what is this? Go yep. Uh, what is the difference between a uh, your cell, you are adding uh, care 13 plus care 10 in the first statement, like select ASCII A, ASCII Correct, A. correct, correct. Yeah. And what is the difference between here and insert? Uh, yeah, this is the same, right? Oh, this is same, right? Same, okay. Yeah, same functional. Okay, the functionality is same. Same, correct. I am, okay. see, here if you see, let me select, okay? If you see, let me copy this row and paste it over here. Yeah. Now, okay. A, then U line, then B got inserted, correct? Yeah. And if you see here, yes, yes. Cat 10, same, same functionality work okay? Okay, okay, okay. So, if you see here, select, start from, if you see here, same functionality, okay? Similar functionality which we have applied here also. And this is your care, okay. care utility and let's come to care index. <coughs> what is care index? Let us say, um, okay, create table TBL string functions test. Okay. EID, integer, and name, per care of, uh, some 120 characters I will give, FN, 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 F8, sorry, F8, right, yep, so this has been created, on the control case, so now, what I am doing over here is, come here, Insert into this table, select, select, employee is 1, Govind, Union, or Santosh, Union, or, sorry, employee is 2, Union all three comma and union all four put here. Okay. Let me insert into this table. So I have inserted four records. If you want to see, just go and check. Select store from this table. Okay. If you see over here, so you are having four rows. So what we are going to do now is we are going to apply care index. So what this care index will give. So if you want to check any particular character position inside this string, okay, then you would be going with the care index. Select name comma care index of let me check what is the let me check a a comma 
name okay from <coughs> if you see so inside this string there is no a letter is there so that's why what it is giving it is giving zero and if you see here so always care index will start from one okay when i say one the first letter of the string it would consider the position of the first letter of the string it would consider as one only okay and if you see here s a n t o s h then the first occurrence of a is at the position of two so that's why it is giving two and if you see here the first occurrence of a in this particular string is at the position of two that's why it is giving two and if you see here there is no letter called a similar to this that's why it is not giving any care index when i say care index it's not uh, finding any value sorry index of that particular value now difference forget about this difference difference is when you are using sound a sound x okay so left of the particular string what is this left so if you want to consider some let us say first three letters of the string okay so first three letters of the string how you would find so control x left of <laughs> left of what uh, name comma three so if you see here left function what it is giving insert this go in the first letters it is giving and the first three letters insert this santosh it is giving a sam and the first letters of this kamal is giving a scam and the first letter three letters of this prudu is giving pru so what it will do it will start from the leftmost position of this string and it will calculate how many characters you want inside that string i mentioned as 3 if i mentioned as 6 let us say 6 no let us go with 8 not 8 4 3 4 7 let us go with 6 so if you see here six letters this has been satisfied so let the, uh, the this has been satisfied so that's why it has come as a full string and if you see here this is having seven letters and if you see here this is coming as we have provided like get me the six first six characters so this is giving first six characters if you see here the length of the string is five letters only but if you see here you have mentioned as six so what it will do it will consider the first five letters after five letters is there any sixth letter is there then it will consider if there is no sixth letter then it will ignore but it won't throw any error okay and this is the utility of the left and if you want to check for the right so similar utility name comma five if you see here right function what i am telling from this position i want five letters so 1 2 3 4 5 5 i n d and n t o s h n t o s h and the kamal this has five letters only that's why it is giving five letters and prudvi r u d v y this is like five letters this is the what is that utility of your left and right if you want to find if you want to find the length of the particular string okay length of particular string what it will give length only here this length is ssrs function 
so forget about that so if you see this govind is having six letters and santosh is having seven letters kamal is having five letters and putri is having six letters if you see here the length of the string is giving you like that so now now what do you want so let's go to lower lower of name if you see here this is our original column value and when you try to convert that into lower case now the all the letters inside this particular column value has become lower case letters okay the similar functionality if you go with upper also there if you see here upper case by default i am having let us say okay insert let me insert one more Let us say if you see here, Sandy is completely in lower case letters, and if you see here, uh, where is this lower case? Yep, this is completely converted to lower case, and if you see here, this is completed to converted to upper case. Let us say, say I'll add some six. Um, what would be the name? What would be the name? let us say we are having the name called suresh okay inside this particular table so let me apply the same functions on this and if you see here i am having combination of caps letter upper case letter and lower case letter when i see to convert all the letters to lower case it is converting to lower case even though that string is having what is that uh, upper case and combination of upper case and lower case letter and here also it is converting to total upper case okay and n care and care is a data type forget about the l trim so what you want now let us say i am having trimming the characters okay when you when you say like L trim seven. I am having space like this. L trim well. Okay. I am having space like this, and if I try to what is that? Uh, get the result set. If you see here, there is a space, right? So there is a space before L. So now. what i will do is i will remove the space l trim of name yes left trim function shit what i can do okay left trim a uh, l left trim function so now what i would be doing so if you see here If you see here, L trim well. If you see here, left function. There is no space before L trim. Okay. And now the similar functionality. Let me insert a, another value. Uh, like I am having a space 
after my value r trim let me insert a value called 8 so if you see here here it is r trim so what it will do, it will remove the trailing characters at the right end of the function. When you apply a left L trim, what it will do, it will remove the trailing characters before the, when I say uh, trailing characters before the, what is that, your, uh, see this is the value, I copied it from here. And if you if I copy the value from here, if you see my cursor is pointing after M only. And now I am pasting the value from this original value. What is that original column value? If you see the cursor is blinking over here. So you would be finding these many spaces. So when you want to remove, you should use Eldrim Arcrim functions. Okay. Now cat index. We have seen the cat index and what we will see is now cat index when i say char index char index is particular to a character if you want to set a string inside a string okay then you would be going with the cat index okay what i will do uh, name, sorry. That index uh, what was that? Set string red. Inside name, what I will check? Here I will check. Okay, this should be fine. Then that index. If you see here, yeah, when you apply a char index, char index would require the set string first, then the column, what is that name, and here, when you see here, I placed percentage, percentage, okay, these are our wildcard uh, characters, and if you want, okay, if you want to set a string inside a string, then you can go ahead with your what is that percentage operator and if you want to search exactly as a string then you can go ahead with what is that single quotes inside single quotes let us say there is an operator called like operator okay like operator so instead what you will do you will be doing is select select store from tbl function test where name like and okay if I place like this inside this particular table whenever a name is having any any uh, any place okay inside the string any place if it is having v i and d characters together then it would find the result set and it would give you that result set okay and if you want to find exact name when I say exact name you should go with exact name when you say when I say exact name then you should go with an equal to operator then this is the one okay so if you know the exact name just type the name inside the single quotes and go with like this and I have placed here like operator and percentage percentage when I say percentage percentage uh, search the string before V I and D any character should be there and after V I and D 
any character should be there. So this percentage will tell you before V I and D, n number of characters can be there, and uh, this percentage will tell you after percentage n n number of characters will be there. Okay, and let us say we will be having. Okay, after D V I, there shouldn't be any character like that. Give me the result set. So what it will do? After D V I, there is no character. That's why it is giving us the result set is Prudvi. Uh, And let us say I want P R U percentage. If, if I type a query like this, and what it is saying, the first character should start with P R U, and after P R U, if you type a percentage, there can be n number of characters. Existence of the n number of characters should be there. Okay, how much the length of the string means like after P R U, if you are having some n number of characters, those n number of characters will be ignored. And what it will do? This percentage will give you the result set as like P R U D V Y. Okay, this is the uh, usage of your like operator, and in, so that's why I'm using P R percentage percentage. So before P R, there can be any number of characters, and after P R, there can be any number of characters exist inside your string. Okay, this is the usage of your percentage operator. And the pat index, what it will give you the pat index? When I say this is giving, okay, the first index of this string, searchable string, inside your column value. Though, <coughs> if you see here, p is the first character of this string. So that's why, if you see here, pat index, what it is giving? First character of that. What is that? Index as first one. So let us say uh, what is existed. A. Let us go with A. Pat index of percentage A percentage A. You see here, there is no character existed inside this. Let me let me. Okay. There is no character A existed inside the string. That's why it is giving zero. And the first occurrence of the A after A, any number of characters should be there. So that's why what it is giving two. And Kamal A first occurrence at the string level, like at the index position is two. And if you see here, there is no existed. And if you see here, there is two. And if you see here, there is no existed, no character existed. And if you see here. Some spaces are there. Then, uh, what is the character position? That is 10. So, if you see here, there is no strings. Okay, there is no existed. Uh, there is no a existed over here. And if you want port name, what is this port name? What it will do? So, let us say I am having a name inside my particular table. Okay, so. You see here, there will be a brackets append to this value. So when you see here, there is a bracket, right? So this is the column value, and you are placing inside a what is that? <coughs> mm. A quote name. So let me tell you about this quote name example. Create table TBL VODV test ID integer call space val. This is my column name. Okay. Yes, integer. And if I want to retrieve the data, let us say insert. 
podcast select select on the moon so if i want select or from tbl code test what it will be giving it will be giving one one so i can't type like call space well because space won't uh, be existed when you uh, try a select query okay so what it is giving invalid call name called column column name invalid column name called call but if you see here my table is having what call well if you see here call well is existed the same call well i am giving over here i am giving over here but when i try to query the particular column value from this table i am not able to get because this call well column is having what is that space so what i would be doing is simply i will be going with what name of call well so what it should give uh, 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 uh. I should, I should, I should, I should go with this one only. Because now it is given. So what it should do? Oh, I can use code name. Code name basically you would be using if any column is having space or any table is having space. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me create a and the code now will be in the result set, right? Yeah. Okay, so let us say uh, on that sheet. Where is this column? If you want to get all the columns inside this particular table, okay, select start from C dot columns area in number join C dot table will just be on a dot object underscore id equals to b dot object. I come on underscore id okay and uh, where b dot name equals to what is my table name this is the one so if i want all the column names from this particular table and if i am uh, what is that uh, using the query like when i say i am selecting a, i am using this inside some dynamic query okay so let us say what is that a dot name so when I query this table, then what it is giving? It is giving me like this one. Okay. So if I try to uh, what is that use this call well anywhere, like inside my dynamic what is that uh, query? If I use this column value like my uh, let me type okay select a dot name from from TBL for test. So this the result set of this query I am going to uh, execute. Okay. So I am going to execute the result set of this query. So the first query it is giving the result set and if I try to execute the result set of the, uh, as the uh, if I try to execute the second query it is not giving because even though my table is having the call well as a call space well, but I am not getting the result set as call well. So what should I do here is like I will go with quote name. So quote name what it would do? It would append a break braces to sorry not braces uh, what the square brackets to your particular column value and it would return inside a particular like this. Okay. So if you see here now let me query this is my previous result set. And after applying the code name, if I type this result, what is that code is? 
and you could see the values so whatever inside the play whatever value inside you whatever value you played inside the square brackets it should be treated as a single object there the spaces won't be considered when i say the spaces the total string would be considered okay so if you uh, type a query like this then what it will do after space this will be break but here this space will be considered and after space this value will be also considered and this is the major usage of your code name okay and uh, replace if you want to replace a particular character inside your string then what how you will do replace let me replace i with x i with x comma insert my name column yeah, replace test so if you see here where is my request test? Why it is given? Insert the name. Replace I with X. So if you see, if you guys see here, so inside this string, uh, I am replacing I with text. Yeah. No, no, no. I am saying that uh, in name go in, it replaced X in uh, in place of I. Correct. I am telling to the system inside this particular column value, if you find any I value, just replace with X. Let us say let us replace a with x okay if you see here let us say Yes, A. A has been replaced with X. And Kamal, inside this Kamal, A is having uh, two places, at the two places. So, two places, X has been replaced. So, if you see like that, A is been replaced and here A is been replaced. Okay. This is the replace function. And the replicate, reverse, these are very self-explanatory A functions. So, let me go with replicate. So if you want to replicate a character like three times or four times, then you can go with replicate function. Replicate uh, name comma three times. <coughs> Let me execute this query. So if you see here, Govin has been replicated thrice, Santosh has been replicated thrice, Kamala has been replicated thrice, Prabhu has been replicated thrice, whatever string you what that place in say that would be replicated those many number of times wherever what is that? Whatever the number you have specified here, right? Those many number of times it will be replicated. So now replicate reverse. If you want to reverse the string, string reverse. Reverse name. Yes, reverse. So just go ahead. So if you see here, reverse of the string, this is like mirror image of the string. That's it. And sound X. What sound X will give you? Means like when you pronunciate any string, right? I am give I am pronunciating 
uh, what is that uh, govin right so for uh, pronunciating a string there will be some integer which is assigned to this uh, string okay what it will give it will give you the sound x number yeah so the string has been started with a letter called g and after this right when i say govind so g it has started with g so the first letter of the sound x will be the starting letter of your what is that string and the remaining letters the pronunciating right the sound of that particular expression how you are pronunciating the sound x means like that first letter will be giving and the remaining letters the sound for the sound the system will calculate an integer value and it would be giving you okay and if you see here there is a space in front of l string so it will treat this is as this the, the string has started with nothing when i say nothing it has started with a space so that's why it is giving us 0 0 0 okay this is the utility of sound x and str not required stuff stuff is required starting portion a number of characters replacement yep what is this stuff stuff is nothing but your uh, replace function again okay and now let me say i am searching p inside okay pr or ru you is my searchable string and from the starting position of the string I want to search and how much for the number of characters right let me say length of the string length of the name till length of the name find it and whenever you find this string right just replace with this string yes stop Expression to be searched, starting portion is 1, correct, uh, number of characters, this is like, yeah, number of characters is 2, let me give, <coughs> replacement expression is x1, uh, come on, then, inside what you want, inside name only, right, you want to search. stuff Inside this column, right? Yeah, yeah, good. And this is the one, two to three columns. You want to, as if you lemon, right? Yeah, lemon, yeah. So this is the one. But what I want to use inside a particular table. You see this here? Inside this, okay. Forget about this. Okay, I'm I'm not mentioning the column name over here. Okay, forget about this stuff. I will tell you. So substring. What this substring will give you? Substring will give you the self-explanatory. I don't want to tell you guys. So let us say substring. The substring of name comma. Starting portion is one comma. Uh, all right and uh, what is that how many characters you want to yes so best here yeah. you type over here i am telling to the system starting from the first letter or let me say where it is this is my two from starting from the second letter 
starting from the second letter go ahead and give me the two strings sorry two characters just like that I am telling to the system and it is giving me okay and this is the utility of substring and uh, having said upper function has been discussed okay these are the string functions okay so just go through all the string functions except stuff I will tell you uh, the other thing is like tomorrow in tomorrow's class we will be covering data functions okay are we clear? And do you have doubts?